Hello, this clip is concerned with blood agar. As you know, blood agar is enriched medium. The organism, those are not grown on nutrient agar are easily grown on blood agar example streptococci kidney bacterium diphtheria and so on on the basis of hemolysis organism is also classified using blood agar whether alpha hemolytic organism or beta hemolytic organism or gamma hemolytic organism so let's talk about alpha in alpha hemolysis there is a greenish discoloration around the clonies whereas in beta hemolysis a clear colorless zone of complete hemolysis whereas in gamma hemolysis there is lacking hemolysis around the colonies okay so let's watch the clip this is the medium without inoculation the specimen okay now after inoculation with the specimen after overnight incubation here we can see the beta hemolytic clone is because there is a clear colorless zone of complete hemolysis here you can see isn't it so better presentation you can get in another plate here you can see two type of clones one is large clones and another is a small clones here you can see pinpoint type yeah so here you can see a greenish discoloration around the clones here you can see isn't it so the clones are alpha hemolytic in this in this in this region you can see alpha hemolytic clones here you can see a better presentation of beta hemolytic clones isn't it here here oh my god what a beautiful beta hemolytic clones Here you can see. You see the beta hemolytic clones. And these clones are whereas these clones. There is no zone of hemolysis around the clones. So, these clones are non hemolytic or gamma clones. Those clones are lacking zone of hemolysis around the clones in this region. So, gamma hemolytic 
so in this way we can say whether the organism is alpha hemolytic or beta hemolytic or gamma hemolytic in blood agar i hope this clip will be helpful so please